I'm going to show you a tutorial on the get dash help command. And what this does is it gets us help on any particular commandlet that we're going to type into PowerShell. Now, if I just type in get dash help, it just shows me information about the get dash help function. So what I want to do is show you how to use get dash help to your advantage. I'm going to type in get dash help. And first off, you're going to see I'm not using any capital letters and that's because it just ignores them anyway so you don't have to type them but if you want to you certainly can now i'm going to type in the commandlet that i need help with so i'll type in get dash disk for instance which gives us disk information and it's going to show me all different types of help that may be available but it's going to do it in an abbreviated manner so i can see basically i can type in for instance get dash disk dash storage job or dash storage node it doesn't give me a very good explanation of what these different switches even mean so i want to go a, a little bit further so let's clear the screen and i'm going to type get dash help again followed by get dash disk and this time i'm going to type in some additional parameters such as I can type in dash detailed and this is supposed to give me just a little bit more information than if I did not type that in such as we see the syntax but we also see the parameters as well now at the very bottom it also says hey you're not using all of the information that you could use so to download additional information type in update dash help so I'm going to do that And now it's going to go out to Microsoft and update all of the help files. So that way I have all the information when I type in any of these parameters, such as dash detailed. And now we can see it scrolling through all the different help content so we can get our updates. Now, if you see an error at the end of this, it doesn't mean that the update failed. What it means is that there are some files that just could not get updated. So that's okay. So I'm going to clear the screen and we're going to do our get dash help again. But this time, instead of doing detailed, we're going to do the dash full. For instance, it shows us the parameter dash iSCSI session, and it gives us information about whether it's required, the position, accept pipeline input, aliases, if there are any dynamic, that kind of thing. So it gives us a little more information about each of the different parameters. Now what we're going to do is type in the get dash help, followed by the command, let's such as get dash disk followed by dash examples. Now, if there are any examples that it can use, then you're going to see them here. I found them to be very useful uh, to use this kind of thing in some of the more complex commandlets because it does give you some examples. But there's a lot of these different commandlets where it doesn't show you any examples, and that is pretty common. So you're not going to see it on every single type. And then the last one, what I'd like to do is with the get dash help parameter, and I'm just going to type in get dash child item just because I know this one works, whereas get dash disk may not. I'm going to put in dash online. So if there are or if there is a page online, I'm going to hit enter. It will automatically open it up and it will show you the syntax and all the other information that's online about this particular commandlet. And it gives you pretty good comprehensive information about that commandlet. So that should give you a pretty good idea of how to use get-help, all the different parameters, so you can get the help you need when you run into an issue with a PowerShell commandlet.